How to use your own image in Leonardo AI. Add yourself to AI and make any image with your face. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be talking about our tutorial on how to use your own image in Leonardo AI. With Leonardo AI, you can add your own image and create unique artworks, design and composition that incorporate your face. This exciting feature allows you to personalize and customize image in a fun and creative way. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the process of using your own image in Leonardo AI and you'll learn how to upload your photo and use it with the Leonardo AI and make your own creative photo using different prompts and different models. By using your own image in Leonardo AI, you can add a personal touch to your creation and make them truly unique. The AI-powered editing capabilities of Leonardo will allow you to create amazing and unique artwork with your face on the photo. So let's get started. Now, as you can see right now, we are currently at homepage of Leonardo AI. And what we're going to be using for today is the basic feature, which is the AI image generation over here. So we're simply going to open it in another tab over here. Now, to be able to upload your different photos, because for today's video, we will be focusing on using your own face and uploading it and having it as a reference or a basis for Leonardo to be able to generate artwork based on your face. So right now, we are currently in the image generation over here. And what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down over here on the left side and you're going to select the image prompt over here. And then simply upload the specific image or your own image in this section. For example, we're going to use a random image for now. For example, this one. This is an image of a person. So we have a model for us to base our image on. You have different settings over here. You have your image way. Image way meaning the higher the value of this, the higher the reference value for the specific image. So the higher the image or the higher the value of the image weight, it means that the output gonna be produced by Leonardo will be super close to the original photo. For example, over here, I have uploaded a photo and this is the highest version. And this is like a 0.5 version. You can see that there will be difference between the two photos over here. We will do the same thing for our demonstration over here. But let's see what our original photo looks like. As you can see right now, this is our original photo. This is what our reference photo is going to be. So let's see how, what we will be able to generate with this as our basis over here. So we're simply going to put in any prop that you want. Right now, we're going to go with a futuristic Iron Man armor. And we're going to go with the Leonardo Diffusion as the model over here. Then we're simply going to click on generate. Now keep in mind, we're using the heaviest image weight over here, meaning it will keep the original photo as much as possible. So it will only change a minimum amount. So let's see if it, we will be able to create our image over here with the face. If we can see if it will be accurate to the face over here. Because that is going to be key. And as you can see here, it's a bit funky. So we're going to do it again. This is a trial and error for Leonardo. And you're going to need to do it multiple times to be able to get the output that you are trying to create. So for example, we're going to do this again. Generate. And if we will be able to get a proper output, we're going to adjust our image weight over here and make it uh, 0.5. And then let's see the difference between the image weight with 1 and image weight with 2 or 0.5, I mean. So we're going to give it some time. And as you can see here, it's going to take in our character over here. I think this one is the most or the closest over here, as you can see. Similar to our character, it's not going to be 100% same with your face but it's going to try to apply your face to the output that you are trying to produce and so you can see here an example over here also now let's do it again this time we're going to lessen the image wave for example 0.4 click on generate and let's see what type of output we will be able to create with the 0.4 version over here let's see if we will be able to incorporate the iron man effect over here the iron man futuristic armor that we are trying to have a, a design or style as you can see here same thing with here this one was the image way one and there was no armor then this is the point five we have armor in this section so let's see and as you can see we have our character with an armor over here because we lessened our image way over here 
it's not exactly the same face, but you can see the similarity with the facial features. And you could do this with any style. For example, we could go to the dashboard over here, the home page, and then we could look through the different style that is being used here. Let's look for one, and then we will use that as a basis or as a reference for our output. For example, I would like to re recreate this. I'm simply going to open this. I'm going to copy the prompt. Go over here. Then we're going to paste it over here. And then I'm going to change some information like Amanda Cornell, Jones, Jen Bartle, Fly, Peach. And we're going to remove the person just like this. And then let's check the other outputs over here. The negative prompt. We're going to copy the negative prompt over here. Copy this. Go back here. Then we're going to add this as a negative prompt as well. And let's see what type of model that is used. The version 6. Right now, we can't really use the version 6 for our Leonardo right now. So we're going to stick with this one. And we're going to have an image way of 0.5 this time. Just like that. And then we're going to click on generate. And let's see what type of output we will be able to produce with the Dream Shaper version 5 with this type of output over here. We're going to copy or try to recreate this output that we have over here. And let's see over here, let's give it some time so that we will be able to compare. And as you can see here, we have our character over here. It's very different. You can see that it has the Asian eyes though, but as you can see, it's going to be hard to replicate. So let's see if we will be able to try and put the face more accurately with our bases over here. We're going to increase our image weight over here to 0.85 and let's see our output let's see and compare the output that we will be able to reproduce and let's give it some time you can do this to any type of photo that you have as long as you have your face on the photo and as you can see here there will be similarities like the color of the clothing the face the hairstyle is going to be here it's not going to be a hundred percent accurate that it's going to be your face but you get the idea, you're going to have to use a reference image over here and use your face as a reference for Leonardo to use as a basis to create your different outputs. And we can do this again. Once again, let's go and look for another style over here. Let's look for a more basic style. For example, we have this one over here. Let's try recreating this output this time. So we're going to copy this. Go back here. We're going to remove our negative prompt. Paste it in this section, then let's remove our character over here because we have a character indication in this option. Then our model is Dream Shaper 5. Then let's simply generate the output with this one. And let's see if we will be able to incorporate the style we have here, but this time with the character or with the image that we have. Uh, right now we have the image weight as 0.85. So let's see what type of output it will be able to produce with the 0.85 as the image weight. Giving it some time once again. And as you can see here, it did try to create our image. And as you can see, it will try to incorporate the style. But as you can see, it will have this as its basis. You can see the similarities though. Like the posing, the color of the clothes, stuff like that. You will see the similarities. And one last time, let's try with the lowest image way over here. Then click on generate to see... Uh, the difference between the 0.85 and the lowest image way over here. Now keep in mind, I'm going to mention it again, the higher the image way, the higher the priority for the basis of the image. For example, going to have the image as accurately or as close as possible, the higher the image way that you say, the set. As you can see here, I think this is better actually. We were able to have the posing and like the character here on our output as well. And that's it guys, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.